steam whistle demonstration right now. I don't know. Anybody heard a steam whistle? Yeah. Okay. Where steam whistles came from, they were derived from pipe organs. In the 1700s, pipe organs were the most technologically advanced piece of equipment on the planet. This is a whistle from a pipe organ. This is called a stop flute for the ranks. So it makes a nice tone. They had, on a pipe organ, they had obviously had many, many of these, and they played music with them. It came 200 years ago, at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, especially in Pittsburgh, steam was the main driver. Due to the abundance of coal and water, if you had coal and you had water, you could make steam, and you didn't need an engine. All you needed was steam engine. You didn't need electricity. So back in them days, everything was steam. The tractors and the farms were steam. The steel mills were steam. The trains were steam. Everything was driven by steam. So now they had this abundance of steam, and they needed, a, and they needed an audible device to say, hey, let me know what's going on, or if the mills can call the people to work. Um, when the starting time, when it's quitting time, if you're on a tractor, you want to call in when, hey, hey, guys, come in, it's time to go uh, for lunch, and they would play their steam whistle. So the steam whistles were derived from the pipe organ whistles. Okay, now we're going to pay the littlest steam whistle that we have. Where Luke at? Where is he at, Luke? Where's my out grab, Luke? Where's the, where's the little one go? Where, where's, his, where's the steam whistle? Go, go get it. <laughs> now Luke has got the little steam whistle in my collection there. We're blowing with a bicycle pump. Is it working, Luke? Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, just, just tell everybody, Luke. See, a very little peep of a whistle. That was used as a, a warning whistle, as a level indicator what's going to blow there. If the boiler went down low pressure, then it go yeep, and the boiler guy would know, hey, the water's low, the steam whistle went out. And actually, if you brought in a hot, lot higher pressure, it would be a lot louder. And as we up the chain, the first little whistle we're going to blow, the long red, that would have been on like a small a steam, like a farm tractor. on a mobile piece of equipment, right? If you're on your farm tractor going around and hey, let's, you know, let's get everybody's attention up. And the next biggest one we're going to blow is on, in that same period, everything was steam driven. This is off of a steam boat. This is probably off a harbor tug or a small ship. Okay. And now, all right, if we got one step up, this next whistle uh, remember, this is before electricity. This is before motors. This, uh, when you had a fire in a town, the fire department, right now, what do they do if you have a fire? They have a siren, electric device, right? Well, back in the 1800s, this is the oldest whistle in my collection. This is from 1890s. This is actually the fire alarm from Gloucester, Massachusetts. time. 